to close the equation set, we need to bring in additional equations. And the first set of equations we bring in are from 3D Hooke's Law, which relates the stresses on our vanishingly small chunk of material to the strains, um, as we've seen before. So the stresses are related to the strains, and we have three normal strains, and we have three shear strains. And the assumptions embedded in here are that we are in the elastic range and that the material is isotropic. So we just need two constants, um, Young's modulus and Poisson ratio in the in, in this in these relations and you can complicate the you know this these uh, these relations this is called the constitutive model where you're relating the stresses to the strains um, and this is in in the 3d context this is the simplest uh, set of relations uh, for the constitutive model we have added six equations but we have also added six unknowns so we are still not you know we don't we still don't have enough equations and we need to bring in the strain displacement relations. Um, so you have the three normal strains related to the displacements and then we have the three shear strains and we have seen these before. And the assumptions embedded um, in these um, e relations is that we have small strains both in the normal and uh, for shear. So we have added three unknowns, the three displacement fields, but we have six equations. And let's take stock of the equations and the unknowns. The equations, we have three from force balance on infinitesimal element in x, y, and z directions. So these are the governing equations, the equilibrium equations. We have six from 3D Hooke's Law. And we have six from strain displacement relations. So we have a total of 15 equations. What about unknown fields? We have six stress components, three uh, normal, three shear. We have six strain components, three uh, normal and three shear. And we have three displacement components, uh, UV and W. So that's uh, 12 plus three. 15 and so we have enough equations for the number of unknown fields and the view taken in in finite element analysis is that the displacement fields are the primary unknowns and you um, calculate the strains and the stresses in terms of these um, displacement fields which then the strains and the stresses in that view become secondary unknowns this is a formidable set of equations. Um, this is basically linear 3D elasticity. And I see students in the, in the computer lab, you know, bringing in kind of CAD models into ANSYS and setting up some loads and uh, constraints and, you know, solving it. Sometimes they are freshmen and they have no idea, you know, what are these set of equations being solved. These are the set of equations, but with a finite element tool like ANSYS at our disposal, uh, these become relatively easy to solve.